Y'all, today's just not my day. I'm ready for it to be over now. Kids acting up at homeschool. Me forgetting to press record. And then I uploaded a whole 10 minute video to TikTok that I didn't get the chance to edit on accident. And it just got it deleted. But if anybody's currently watching it, like they're seeing it raw and uncut. And that I'm so annoyed. I'm so freaking annoyed. I'm ready for today to be over. This is why I don't vlog every day because nine times out of 10, my days are going like this and it's annoying. I'm just, I'm tired of repeating myself, of saying the same things every single day to the to the kids. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. Like I'm, I'm really, I wasn't gonna take a break with homeschool while I was postpartum, but Brian's just gonna have to deal with that. Like either you print out the work and get it all together and you homeschool them, or I'm taking that damn break when I have this baby. Like that's just what it's gonna be at this point. Cause I'm, I'm over it, I'm done. Nowhere. Grab the air filters, brother. See, I'm not getting the girls key. I'm not grocery today. No, then I told you I'm making food. Mm -hmm. Bryson, just put those by that picture so Daddy can change them when he gets home. Okay, you guys, so we got a lot of stuff. So, I had to place an order last night because Bryson wanted, not only did he want muffins, he first... During the day, he asked me to make muffins, so I bought stuff to make muffins. And then he asked me for Slappy Joes. We were out of eggs, so I got some eggs. I don't know why I ordered two things of buns. I really don't. But there they are. <laughs> two things of buns for Slappy Joes that he wanted. We got... french fries for the sloppy joes and then this time i decided i'm gonna try a seasoning pack instead of the can sauce and all you add to that is water and um let's see if it's in here water and tomato paste so but i got cranberry orange muffins i got banana nut muffins and their favorite blueberry muffins. So that was everything that I had ordered last night. And then this morning I ordered the air filters, which you guys saw. And then I got two packs of these for postpartum. These are probably what I will wear like the first week. King! So I got two packs of those. And then I got, so a lot of this stuff is postpartum stuff. I got a long charger. I got um, some wipes. I might buy another one of those. I just didn't feel like I needed to buy everything right now. I got toothbrushes. I really wish they would have got me one with two very different colors because Brian is colorblind and those two colors are gonna be hard for him to tell the difference between. So this is all going to go in the hospital bag. I was going to buy travel size toiletries, but instead I got this little pack from Walmart, which is actually really good because like it comes with like little labels. So I have shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion, and then a loofah. So there's still a couple of things I got to get, maybe another pack of wipes. I'm pretty sure the hospital gives you a peri bottle, so I'll use that. I'll just take that one home. I'll put these in the red bag, baby. The Target bag in the laundry room. And then I think that's about it. Um, Raquel was so sweet and she ordered my belly band for me and another pack of the boxer briefs that I'll take to the hospital. I have a ton of pads, so I'm not buying pads. I have a ton of overnight pads. So that's not something I will be buying. Um, and for the most part, while I'm at the hospital for those three days, I'll be using the hospital's pads until I come home. So that's not going to be in my, um, 
What am I trying to say? It's not going to be in my hospital bag. These will probably not be in my hospital bag. I already have a cart in the bathroom that I'm probably going to redo and fix up. And I'm going to make the uh, middle shelf on that three-tier cart for all of my postpartum stuff. And then probably put it by the toilet just while I'm postpartum. And then move it back. But yeah, so this is everything that I got today. Um, I do need to start. Hold on. Let me flip you guys around. I do actually need to get my hospital bag packed because I have been having problems with my blood pressure being high. And with that, I could have to go in for a C-section at any point and go in for my C-section at any point in time between now and when I hit 39 weeks. My scheduled C-section is for 39 weeks, but if my blood pressure doesn't stay at a place where they like it, I could go in now between any time between now and then so i do i did tell my husband like i need to get my i was like i need to get my hospital bag together so i think what i'm gonna kind of do is um every night pack up like my laptop and stuff like that so that way it's it's ready to go i think i might start getting my hospital bag packed with you guys i might do that saturday I'm going to pray about it today, see how I feel, see how my blood pressure does today, and that'll determine on if I get my hospital bag packed today or if I do it Saturday when some of the stuff that Raquel, or maybe I'll go ahead and start it today, and then when Raquel come or when Raquel's package gets here that she sent me, I'll add that stuff to it, but I do know that I do have to get that together because... My blood pressure is already acting up like it did with King. And I remember King's due date changed three times. It was December 16th and then I was going to go in on December 10th. And I ended up having him December 7th because my blood pressure just wouldn't stay down. So, yeah. And now they this time they have me monitoring my blood pressure. So, if it gets above a certain point, I have to go in. So, I think it's just best if I go ahead and... Um, have my bag ready but i need to get these boys breakfast you guys i'm gonna go ahead and do some do some i'm gonna get them some eggs and try to get these muffins done so let's go ahead and get that done
All right, you guys, so this is how breakfast came out, even though, well, brunch, it's 11.30 now, so brunch, um, yeah, I wasn't just gonna let them eat muffins by themselves for breakfast, so they got um, chicken, maple sausage, this is looking blurry, chicken, maple sausage, cheesy eggs, oranges, their vitamins, and a muffin.
Good morning. I'm finally getting this. <sighs> Throw this in the trash. I'm finally getting this guest room together. I know it seems like that's all I've been doing. This camera's crooked. But, um, yeah, I needed to wash the sheets. I have new sheets for the bed that I'm about to wash. And then I want to, I need to take out, God, I really don't want to use that comforter because it's about to get hot. So I think I'm going to go to Target today. There's a few things that I need to get at Target. I want to find Brian and I some linen. Why are you in here? I want to find Brian and I some linen sheets and possibly a lighter comforter for postpartum. Y'all know how them hormones be and how you be sweating but not sweating in the cold. So I want to find some linen sheets, 100% linen, because that actually helps with healing. Um, and I want to find a new comforter for not only our bedroom, but for here in the guest room. I need to clean out this guest room closet, but also from Target, I need to buy eight folders, computer paper, and I think that's it because I have my computer in. Yesterday, I spent all day editing and doing my reading like the words for April and May. So that's set. I'm debating. I'm debating on doing June just to already have it done. So that way, if I'm not feeling up to it in May, June's will already be done. I just got to pray over what I want to do for June. Um, April is... Oh, April's Read and Write the Word goes over um, tests and trials or trials and tribulations, however you want to word that. I really just thought it was a cute play on words because you know how they always say like April showers bring May flowers. And so you also know like a lot of the times when we're going through something, we call it a storm. So I just thought that that was a cute play on words for April. And then for May, with it having to be Mother's Day and just surrounded around women, I thought we would do biblical womanhood. Let me go ahead and tell y'all, when I was doing that, <laughs> I was already highly offended. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's going to be a fun one to do. And so I don't really know what to do for June. But we are going to go ahead and get this room together today. I'm going to wash the brand new sheets as well. I'm That's just something that I'm comfortable doing with. So after I stick this stuff in the washer... I'm going to get this closet cleaned out and get it all looking back to how it was whenever I first made this room the guest room. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and put baby's car seat and stroller together and maybe start packing our, um, maybe start packing our hospital bag. And I only say that only because, um, Raquel has some stuff for me. I'm not sure all that she has for me. But I'm also going to look around at Target today whenever I go for the other stuff and just get me like some body wipes. And I think that's like just some body wipes and then I'll go like to the postpartum section and see what else they have. Like I said, I'm pretty good on pads because I bought pads literally right before I found out I was pregnant because I was supposed to start my period and then it just never came. So um, I have compression socks. I bought myself like gowns and stuff to be comfy in and comfy outfits. So I don't think I'm gonna need much. It's just at this point, it's just a matter of seeing what I want to take to the hospital and go ahead and pack now and seeing what I want to leave out until that day. But I do know that I need to pack at least, at least two outfits for the hospital because I'll be there, or at least one to come home in. I don't know, am I allowed? No, I can pack two. I think I'm allowed after 24 hours and after the epidural wears off and after the catheter comes out, I think I'm allowed to shower and put on my own clothes. I think. So I'll take two outfits just in case. For sure, one to come home in. And then I did go ahead and decide to take some of the always, does, the always overnight period panties just in case they don't give me enough at the hospital so yeah there's a lot that we got to get done um i think i explained the reason why i want to get a lot of it done but let's go ahead and get oh i also want to buy a roku or a new fire stick for in here because the one that we have just isn't working anymore and when raquel comes and my father-in-law comes and things like that i want them to be able to watch tv so i want to update that in here as well She wanna know me, I stay low key, I 
all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on tip, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Cause you riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? you guys so we got this part done i'm probably gonna go to target now see if brian has any plans i'm sure he don't and then i'm gonna head out i tried to do hospital corners like brian taught me but i just can't i don't know i think i need him to show me one more time and then maybe i'll be able to do it but how pretty is this and raquel's so i know i keep saying that this is for raquel but also my father-in-law and mother-in-law will be coming uh in may uh, in may giving me a little bit of time to rest after i have the baby to come out here and see us and help with the baby a little bit that way also while i recover so this is also for them too i just wanted everybody to have fresh sheets these will also get washed again before they come after raquel leaves 
And so I really need to go find another comforter that's like medium weight. Because the only comforters that I have right now are really heavy. And by the time everybody comes, it's just going to be that time where like, like you need a little something, but not a lot to cover with. So that's really why I want to go to, excuse me, Target also. Oh, I need to take this bag. Oh, this is the even flow pivot, pivot something. So I think you guys saw like I can either do the bassinet, which I plan on using for like walks and stuff. And then I plan on just using the stroller when we're out and about. I mean, the car seat. So the bassinet will like stay home unless we're going on a walk or something. But yeah, that's everything. Like I said, I'm probably going to go to Target. I need to charge my phone before I do anything, though. Actually, right, guys, we have a package. This is something my other best friend got me off of my baby registry. Let's see hard to do with one hand. Okay. Oh, I hate when they do this. <laughs> For the new little crew member. <laughs> Alright you guys. It's all put together. I really like this because it can lay flat. And it's really really. It's way bigger than I expected it to be. But it's really big and circular. But you could also turn it into like this little lounger. And you can also remove this. To where you could just set it on the couch. And you can lay baby in it while you're right there. Because this gets as tight as you need it to be. So. That's why I picked this one. It's also reversible, so I can either have this soft blue side showing or I can flip it and have this other side showing. All right, you guys, today's Sunday, the 24th. Uh, I did not finish the beds in the guest room, but we're starting on the boys' bathroom and some little replacements for mine and Brian's bathroom. You can call this a spring refresh. You can call it nesting. I don't know what to call what I'm going through at this point. <laughs> but I feel like I need to replace everything. But we're doing it slowly. We're doing it consciously. We're doing it affordably. I got all this stuff $20 off at Target. So it was only $160. So we've been needing new towels for a while now, actually. All the towels we have are from, shoot, what? 2017 you think babe What's up? all the towels we have from 2017 2018 yeah so we we were due we deserved it as parents who make sure their children have everything and i just want to make a home um i did get the boys a new shower curtain i just i feel like even though i'm having another baby i just feel like the boys have kind of outgrown the um dinosaur one so it's still gonna be fr kid friendly just more i don't know older is the word i'm looking for and then ryan and i both agree that for ourselves we needed bigger towels i couldn't find like a tan or like a lilac color so i went with this cream color because in our bathroom the even though the shower curtain is purple i wanted to do like purple and cream so I went with cream colored towels for mine and Brian's bathroom. And these are huge towels, which Brian's been asking for. So, and they have all their towels on sale right now. I'm not sure how long the sales are, the sales, the sale is going to go on. So go ahead and check out Target for that. And so those are the four towels. I just got four of the same color. I don't know if y'all, y'all, it's so hard to find lilac um, towels. So that's why I had to go with um, cream because finding lilac towels was really, really hard. Okay, so those are some of the towels for our bathroom. These are gonna be the towels for the boys' bathroom and our guest. So I got this color here and you'll see why. Um, because they match. These are gonna be their new hand towels for their bathroom. I only got two hand towels because we wash towels once a week, so. They only really need one at a time. 
and then so we got I got two of each of these and then this is oh and then I meant to only buy one pack of these so as you can see I was trying to color coordinate washcloths with bath towels so whenever we have guests when they grab their bath towel they can get a washcloth that's the same color or similar color did i buy yellow i don't think so so these this neutral pack is uh, this neutral pack is for mine and brian's bathroom actually so those are for mine and brian's bathroom we don't use washcloths often but it, they're just nice to have and then i got I didn't match these colors perfectly only because I couldn't find perfect matches, but I did get this color to go with this more coral color. So I got two of these towels. I'm sure if I did this in store, I would have been able to match things better, but I just have not had it in me to go to a store. And then I accidentally bought a second pack of these. I'm thinking about gifting the boys current shower curtain and maybe these towels or just i don't know um, i'm gonna think about it but for sure i'm gonna get rid of the boys old shower curtain but i might hold on to these just to have some extra washcloths for the boys to use because they need new washcloths too and then these towels i got to go with the blue washcloths because they're striped they match the they match the hand towels and then oh, obviously yeah. i got these orange towels oh, and yeah. i felt like i should have got the yellow but these looked a lot more orange and i knew i should have went with the yellow but you know what y'all i did my best i did my best and it's not like these are going to be on display it's just so that way people can have somewhat coordinating bath towels with um washcloths so that is everything I got. Oh, and I got the boys some bubbles, but that's neither here nor there. So like I said, I don't know if you want to call this nesting. I don't know if you want to call it a spring refresh, but we're here and I need to throw all these in the washer. All right, you guys. So the towels that you seen yesterday are all good and washed. Um, this morning I did place an order on Amazon for 100% cotton sheets for our bed, 100% cotton pillow shams and a quilt comforter i think i explained to that a little bit earlier and then i got the comforter for the guest room that should all be here wednesday so we're gonna finish that bed on wednesday um and i do i need to put i'm gonna wait but the sheets off the guest bed that i took off and the comforter and then the sheets off of mine and brian's bed and the comforter and pillowcases and stuff i need to put them in a vacuum seal bag so i'm just gonna wait until wednesday when i wash you know all the stuff <laughs> and then vacuum seal it so that will be done wednesday uh our sheets need to be washed so bad too i'm really hoping that my amazon order gets here first thing wednesday morning so by the time i'm done with my doctor's appointment um it will like i'll be able to like wash it and like wash it get all the beds made and stuff uh towels are done so i think that that is it for company prep because i have shampoo and conditioner in that bathroom i have a brand new bottle of body wash underneath the sink so that will go in the shower um i am gonna put some extra toothbrushes and toothpaste for adults adults in the boys bathroom and then I think that's it. I just ordered some stuff for homeschool. I need to start getting the boys packets made. This is our week of no school. So today is Monday the 25th, you guys. I am going to end this vlog here and probably pick up for a new vlog on Wednesday. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see how we feel. But for sure, this vlog is getting ended here. Got all the towels washed. I'm currently... I don't know what I'm going to do with all of our old towels. I have so many that need to be washed so i'm gonna get all of those washed i do have a box i am gonna start boxing up all of the old towels for sure i'm gonna start boxing up the old towels 
so um yeah that's where we're at you guys um i love you guys but always remember that just to you more oh did i even show you guys i redid my nails brian really liked this set he picked out this set so um it's a little bit uncomfortable to like text and stuff i don't know how i'm gonna feel once i get on the laptop and start typing but i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna like it but if i can still make a fist we good because mama got to stay ready but yeah so anyways i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more i will see you guys in the next video all right you guys just kidding my walmart order just got here so i'm gonna show you guys what i got real quick that we kind of oh why did that bag rip okay. okay so we got printer paper definitely going to be needing that and then I'm going to be redoing the boys folders. So they're going to have a folder for their weekly work, which they do not touch. And then they'll have a folder for their daily work, which is the folders that they will be pulling all of their workouts. So I needed some new folders. And then also theirs are all ripped. So hopefully me doing it this way, though, will kind of help them. And then... I realized we were doing arts and crafts one week that realized we didn't have any glue sticks whatsoever. So got a big old pack of glue sticks because I guarantee you Bryson will get into them and waste about eight of them. We got some more school pencils, even though we have some in our backup stuff for school. I just, y'all, I didn't feel like digging everything out of the guest closet to get the backup pencils. So I just bought a pack. And then... <coughs> grading pens for myself and then two bags of erasers so yeah but now i need to get up you guys and for all this time i love you guys jesus loves you more see you guys in the next vlog bye